Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Grooming by Rudy again. Uh, me and Anthony had an opportunity to show you yet another uh, Shih Tzu video. This is our sweet girl, uh, Sammy. We've been doing her forever. Uh, she's such a sweet little dog. Um, but we're gonna kinda do a little under the eyes video again. Um, she's a little nervous on her face, just like most Shih Tzus are. Uh, they tend to get very nervous on their face because you know, there's a lot of congestion and a lot going on here. So, um, Again, we're going to do this with the clippers as opposed to the thinning shears. And uh, the reason for that is uh, we, we kind of want to avoid staying in, in one spot with the thinning shears for a real long time because the thinning shears take a long time to get the hair off. Uh, although that can be and is an option uh, on a lot of dogs. But um, again, to avoid potential nicking or hurting the dog or the dog jumping into the thinning shears we prefer doing it with the clippers so if you can actually do it with the clippers you can get the job done a lot quicker uh, and again a, a, a little bit safer as well um, again guys but if you're using the clippers and you're not uh, you're not a professional dog groomer or you're not used to using the clippers it may actually work against you as far as safety so again if you're not used to using the clippers uh, by all means uh, don't do it uh, don't attempt to do it have a professional do it a professional groomer or a vet so anyway what we're gonna do is uh, you know Sammy comes to us once a month so she, there's not a whole lot of eye gook or anything it's really just basically hair uh, but uh, at any rate what we like to do is kind of pull the skin back like pull her forehead skin back and kind of pull away any gook that might be close to the eye with your finger just so that we know what we're clipping and uh, get it you know you might want to just use your nail and just kind of pull away a little bit of it just to loosen it and pull it away from the skin um, and then we're using a 10 blade so we're just kind of using keeping her head still and we're just kind of getting a little scoop under the eye just like that little by little so that's one side so again we're just kind of using the corners of the blade so you can see that's one side there and then you know you get in there with the comb and then you can pull some of that gook further away from the eye but you can see how much easier it is with the clippers um, and again, guys, it's a little bit safer to do. Uh, so then we're gonna do this side. That's okay, Sammy. And again, just a little scoop. It's okay, Mama. Just like that. It's okay, baby. Just like that, Mama. Good girl. You're okay. Guys, again, if you if you don't have a real steady hand and you're not used to using the clippers, by all means, use the thinning shears or some um, safety scissors. But again, we just kind of cleared that out, and it comes out real clean too when you uh, do it with the with the clipper. And then after the bath, we'll go over it again, and uh, we'll we'll get even more out. Um, so, okay, Mama. There you have it. So just like that, it's uh, it's very quick, it's very easy. Um, it, it gets it out real well. You get all those eye boogers out, and again, after the bath, we can just go over it again, and it'll come out that much cleaner. Uh, but a part of this, a big part of this, is getting the dog used to it and training the dog to accept it. It doesn't happen overnight. Like I said, Sammy's been coming to us for many, many years, so she's very used to us doing it. Um, uh, so uh, it varies with each individual dog. Uh, if they don't take to the clippers and the thinning shears are the way to do it, by all means use your thinning shears. Um, but we like to use the clippers because it just comes out a little better and it's a lot quicker, like we said, than sitting there with the thinning shears and con you know doing this for a long period of time. Um, although 
Again, it varies with the dog. You don't want the dog jumping into the thinning shears either. Uh, there you have it, guys. Give it up for Sammy being such a sweetheart of a dog. She's a little angel. She comes to us all the time. Uh, we love her. Uh, we love her owners. They, they, they love her dearly. So uh, one of our veteran dogs that we figured we'd just feature for you. Okay, guys, thanks again for tuning in to Grooming by Rudy. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Like us on Facebook. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Don't forget to check out our radio show. It's Groomer Humor on Pet Life Radio. We'll leave that link down below. On behalf of Anthony and I, thank you once again again.